Hi everyone, I'm Mark and this is the Lenovo Think Vision P32 P30 monitor aimed for the office. It has UHD resolution, 31.5 inches, and other tricks up its sleeve. I think it's the perfect size for a monitor too. For disclosure, this monitor was provided by Lenovo for review. When I'm done with the review, it goes back to Lenovo. This Think Vision P32 P30 prioritizes function over looks. The design has the same language as their ThinkPad laptops. It has a matte black finish with red accents. Unlike the previous gaming monitor that I reviewed, this looks way more subtle. When it comes to specifications, it's a 31.5 inch display with 16 by 9 aspect ratio, 3840 by 2160 resolution with 60 hertz refresh rate. There's no speakers or built in webcam. The stand is adjustable, sporting tilt, swivel, pivot, and height. That's right, you can rotate it 90 degrees for portrait orientation. And if you're not happy with the built-in stand, the monitor supports VESA mounts for third-party arms and stands. Another unique feature that I didn't think I needed but is welcome is the section at the base where you can use as a phone stand. Handy to see your phone notifications at a glance while working. It's also nice to pair with MacBooks when using your iPhone as a webcam. The ThinkVision P32 P30 is a Thunderbolt 4 monitor and can be used as a Thunderbolt 4 or USB-C dock. It provides one Thunderbolt 4 USB-C in and one Thunderbolt 4 USB-C out. When the Thunderbolt 4 in is connected, it can expand a device's connectivity to four additional USB-A ports and a gigabit Ethernet port. These ports can also be accessed over USB Type-B. What's actually funny here is that the manual said that this monitor had four USB-A ports, but initially I only found three, two at the bottom, one on the side, and the fourth one sort of hidden under a cover on top. This would be a great location if you plan to use an external webcam or a screen bar like this one I'm using from BenQ. It keeps my desk well lit, also lets me change the brightness and color temperature, or just press this button here for auto settings. I'll leave a link in the description if you want to get one yourself. I also have an ethernet port connected directly to this monitor from my wireless router, the Nest Wi-Fi Pro. So stepping back, I only need to connect one cable to my laptop. The monitor acts as a hub for the accessories, which is pretty awesome. Power delivery is also supported. The monitor can deliver 100 watts of power delivery over the Thunderbolt 4 port, which is enough to handle most laptops. For example, it can keep charging the Lenovo Legion Pro 7i gaming laptop when in use. It can also provide 27 watts over Thunderbolt 4 out. When gaming or editing videos, I do however plug in the laptop's power adapter for best performance. I noticed the built-in overclocking settings on the Legion Pro 7i aren't available when only connected to the Thunderbolt 4 port. While I am using the Thunderbolt 4 port, you also have the HDMI 2.0 port and DisplayPort 1.4 as well. The back left side of the monitor has the audio port. Again, no built-in speakers with this monitor. The back right side has two buttons that let you navigate the menu system. The one on top is like a joystick for selecting. It's great to have them, but you don't really need these buttons. You can use the app Lenovo Display Center, which gives you the same controls, but faster. You have access to color settings, brightness, contrast, and more. The image quality is great, and I know I can depend on this monitor to make sure my videos don't look too oversaturated or too contrasty when editing. And because this is a massive 31.5 inches display, I can easily have multiple windows and applications spaced out. I use the built-in windows feature that lets you align apps within certain sections of the monitor. If you're not aware of this feature, just drag a window to the top of the screen where several alignment options will pop up. I also usually place my laptop to the left side of the monitor so I can use it as a secondary display. So previously I reviewed the gaming equivalent of this monitor, which is the Legion Y32P30, and there are differences. The gaming monitor has faster refresh rate and built-in speakers, but this monitor can rotate to portrait orientation, can charge a gaming laptop with a 100 watt Thunderbolt 4 port, and better color accuracy for creators. And also I think a better stand since it doesn't take up as much space. So which one do I prefer? Uh, since I do prioritize work and creation, 
I actually prefer this professional monitor. If I can borrow a feature for this monitor, I'd want a faster refresh rate than 60 Hertz. Everything else can stay the same. So I've enjoyed using this monitor. I've used it with the Legion Pro 7i gaming laptop for editing videos. I've used it with the smaller ThinkPad X1 Carbon for office and productivity work. And I've also used it with the 16 inch MacBook Pro. No complaints here, just a nice feature packed 4K monitor. Can you play games with the P32, P30 monitor? Yes, you can, but it won't be as good as a gaming monitor. I'm happy with the color and brightness. I can adjust the color presets to sRGB, DCI-P3, or Rec. 709, but I just leave this to sRGB. It's not glossy, so no trouble dealing with reflections or glare. I'm really liking this monitor, but pricing is on the higher side. I did a quick Google search and I see it selling at about $1,100. At that price point, I would try to convince my manager to expense it as a business item. Personally, while I like this monitor, it's unfortunately out of my budget. All right, so that's my review of the Lenovo ThinkVision P32, P30. Let me know if you have any questions. I'm starting to get the hang of uploading a new video every week. So if you're interested to see more videos, hit that like and subscribe button. Thanks for watching.